Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I was told recently in a comment of a recent video to watch out for this because it is actually, they say that there's a pop-up for it that says, oh, if you go back here, you know, something, like you won't be able to go do other things or something, but it's not like super clear. So uh, I'm just going to avoid it. Apparently you're supposed to do Moonrise first before this. I told you guys this felt like end game stuff. You know, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, or like end act, you know. And uh, so, so does Moonrise. So I'm like, bah, 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 you know, down here, whatever. But I was also told that before I go into here, I have to go to the crash or, you know, I think I'll block, I'll lock out the crash if I don't go, you know? Um, and I have heard, my friend told me that Lazelle tried to leave at one point, um, because she was like, if we don't go to the crash, like, soon, I'm gonna leave. And so I feel like it might be a bit weird to, like, just go do the crash right now, but, um, that's what we're gonna do. Like, I realize we're in the middle of stuff over here, and it's like, ooh, we're hunting down Thorn siblings or Thorn relatives or whatever. But uh, I'm honestly intrigued about the Githyanki crash, and that is, as much as I think they aren't going to be able to help us, it's just one of those things that I feel like you'd have to check off. You know, you got a parasite in your head, and you're like, yo, <laughs> please help, you know. Oh, but first, before we go anywhere, we are going to switch out. Oh my goodness gracious. Who should we bring? Uh, I mean, obviously we're going to bring Lizelle. Um, do I switch out? Woo! Do I bring Shadowheart for the drama? I bring Shadowheart for the drama. Okay, so it's gonna be girl fight, girl boss, girl, uh, what is it? No, girl, guess like, girl, girl boss, girl fight? However I wanna say it. It's the girl boss, girl fight squad. Bye, Asterian. Uh, where are you at, buddy? Buddy old pound. I probably shouldn't bring Shadowheart. It would be smarter, like, in world to be like, Shadowheart, stay home, you know? <laughs> um... So I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't. Uh, and I'm maybe I'd make some decisions. No, I think no matter what I do, Asterion's going to be mad at me. Although I might be trying to deceive the Gith Yankee, and that's something he could maybe get behind. Uh, I just don't want him to leave. He's very useful. And I want to know his story. Like, mostly I want to know his story. Like, I know um, the actor, like, won... Awards, the well deserved awards, and I want to. Sorry, I'm like spinning around. Uh, I want to know what his story is, but I think we'll have to hold off on Asterian. Someday, I, I think in one of my games, he absolutely despises me, like one that I'm playing with my friends. He absolutely despises me, and I'm like, I, right now, he doesn't like me, but he just is like. He's so mad at me in the other one. I'm like, what? <laughs> I actually did it on purpose because there's like certain decisions that we wanted to make. And, uh, oh, I can't figure out how to get through here. There's certain decisions we wanted to make that were going to make Asterion mad. And so my friend was trying to romance him. So I decided to bite the bullet on that, you know, because I'm a really good friend. <laughs> and so now he actually hates me in that one and I'm like eh like I now I'm, I'm a little worried I'm like what if he leaves because of me and then she can't romance him so anyway it feels a little weird to be going back to like the land of sunshine and you know honey and milk and whatnot but I, ha I really am enjoying the Shadowlands a lot The vibe. The vibe is good. I mean bad, but in a good way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seems simple enough. Item received backpack. I hope we don't lose the blessing of Saloon. Ah! <laughs> I guess I have the uh, pixie uh, thing if I need it. The pixie bell. It does feel very weird to be going back. I honestly, I'm not really sure how the crash works. Like, I I thought it was going to be its own area or, like, involved in the Shadowlands, but apparently it's not. You have to go back kind of to the starting area. I don't know. But now we're in a whole new area. We lost condition saloon. Oh, no. Hang on. I got to I'm going to test out and see if we get the saloon thing back. Okay, good. We get it right back. 
not over. Ooh, let, do I have? I do have speak with animals active, just in case. Just it's got a, bled, a dead blah 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 a bled blue jay. I can't a dead blue jay. I was play, playing Tears of the Kingdom last night, and I'm like, ooh, campfire! I can make some food. Nope. Not how this works. What does it say? Do not walk in darkness. Oh. Turn to the light. Turn to the light. Turn to the light. Yes, yes. Anything? Why are there so many dead animals here? No traps, please. We have... Yes, Lazel. Okay. It will be interesting to play scenarios where you don't have Lazel and you try to walk up on the hmm. crash. What's that? Walk in the way of dawn. For Lathander cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. Uh, well, Lathander is like the god of the, the dawn. I think our monk, uh, monk amulet is actually. He was a devotee of Lathander or something. It's so weird to be back in the light and the greenery and the trees and oh my gosh, what? Wait, I'm like Darkspawn. What? <laughs> what are Darkspawn doing here? What a Death Shepherd, Necrotic Veil. What are you? Oh my gosh, you look cool. An undead Skellington, immune to poison but resistant to like freaking everything. Oh, there's so many. Oh, and they're eating animals. Oh, and people and okay, the Yankee youth. No, and the de a dead zealot of the absolute. Oh my gosh. Aghast ghouls. There's the difference between a ghast and a ghoul. I, I, oh boy. Uh, stench. There's apparently nausea stuff going on. Man, of course I put a Starian away when we could freaking have some flanking action going on, but... Alright, we can't do the Guardian Beyblade, but we can do Turn Undead. So I threw her in there and now I hope she survives. Oh, nice! I got the guy to drop his weapon. And I distracted him. Come on. I, I might be I might be totally overusing the uh the the like action surge strike stuff, but you know what? <laughs> we're, we're in it to win it. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're paralyzed. Oh, Carl is paralyzed. I have something to undo that. Okay, good. So I had disarmed it. I'm, I'm going over to try to undo the paralysis. And it had an opportunity attack. But because it's disarmed, I was, uh, she didn't... Well, that, that helped her not take any damage. I could have punched her in the face, but... No! I knew I should have killed the big guy first. He brought back one. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna smite this guy. the big guy. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, gall, Lazelle. Oh, no. Okay. wonder if the gods are watching me. Get out of that cloud of nasty. And, well, boy howdy. What was that all about? A dead geeth Yankee youth, Lazelle. Of use? I every time I use survival instinct, it hasn't. I haven't needed to use it yet, but I'm. I am glad that I have it, just in case. Read. 
Dear Grave and Guard, is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrush Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. General Kestrick Storm. I don't think they would survive. The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Yeah, well, we already uh, knew that. Wow, this is just a plain one, but it has, it's pretty good, honestly. We can send that to Razel. Why are the, the youths dead? Oh, um, are they out here camping, maybe? Or, like, not, like, camping for funsies, but, like, scouting. And they got absolutely destroyed. They got some big armor. I'm sending just stuff to Carlag so that we can sell it. I don't even know if it's worth that much, but... This is a nice view! What was it? There's like an F12 or something that lets you get rid of the UI, but look at that. It's quite the view. Ooh, there we go. I have hidden the UI with F10. Photo mode. <laughs> this is really pretty. Is this like a whole other huge area to explore or what? Oh, we're not allowed. I can't. Oh, 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 really? Rude. All right. I could jump across. I've jumped across worse looking. Nah, I'm, <laughs> this does feel like such a big tonal shift. What? What? No! Oh, jeez. Did that already blow up? Repulsion mine. Well. Well, I suppose I'll. Hey! 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 A shop? Shop person? Buying? Selling? Who is that? Who? Uh -huh. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, Not my dear. Not many people say you that know, to me. I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. I am a drow. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Now, I don't usually, when I walk up as a drow, get the, what a friendly face! Uh, lady, I'm busy. It looks like a temple. Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude, rude. Yankee. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Has your charming companion would call it a creche. But it was built on what remained after the Gith Yankee slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. Uh, so I remember she has mentioned that they, Gith Yankee are born from eggs. They are born from eggs. Um, and so I think she was offering to buy one of their children, and, uh, that's weird. And also, why would you want a Gith Yankee child? And also, I just, it blows my mind that the Gith Yankee just think they can murder their way through everything. Like, nobody was offered, like, the monks were probably not doing anything, like, aggressive, and they just murder. Like, just straight up murder. <laughs> It just, it kind of blows my mind, honestly. Yeah, you tried, see, you tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well, no, yeah. Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Eh? Please. Do enlighten me. Yeah. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment 
can overcome Ooh. its violent Ooh. nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. The idea of having to overcome a violent one, like nobody is really born violent, you know? I mean, well, okay. I don't know, there's like psychological factors, of course, but like, you can't just say that every Gith Yankee born is violent. Like, it's definitely, I, I ascribe more power to nurture, or to nurture over nature, necessarily, like the old psychological argument, right? I think the environment does do a lot for how a person becomes, but you cannot deny that there are some, like, quirks, perhaps preferences like um traits that are more biologically inclined in some ways like i think addiction is one of those certain people are prone to like be have more addictive personalities um so if they stumble across something that they can get addicted on then it's like a they're more inclined to spiral down that path but not always anyway that's not the purpose of this video. Anyway, yeah, what? Look at this. Violence is taught, not narrated. You don't need to steal a child to know that. Hang on. I was going to say, too. Oh, this is why I looked at the drow one, and I was like, people think the drow are inherently evil, and they're not. They're just raised that way. They used to think my people were inherently evil, too, you know. Uh, paladin with pure will and great courage. Anyone can rise above their nature. Well, pure will and great courage is in nature. They anyway, you stupid paladin. <laughs> uh, some things are in our blood, only a fool. And they, they used to think my people were inherently evil too, you know. Oh, or this one. Oh, I'm torn. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing no. to help them. To prove your point. No! Past. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such <laughs> sympathetic views to their She's flesh. like, what? <laughs> and once inside, you could simply... No! Purloin an No! Egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. She would just. I. I have no You'll idea be well why. Compensated, of course. Just bring me an. Egg. Why isn't she just stabbing her? No. My. What you suggest is revolting, and you need to die. Listen, it is revolting. You don't necessarily need to die. Produce the owlbear egg. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I am I just say it because I wanna see what it'll do. <laughs> oh you wonder <laughs> It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? Nope. <laughs> no, it's an owlbear that I just like it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Nature. Ooh, persuasion. Of course not. It's from an owlbear, but I bet your employers won't know the difference. Interesting. And then the owlbear, like, comes, like, hatches, right? And, like, well, I mean, they could raise an owlbear, and they could try to be like, Oh yeah, if we raise it nicely, it'll, uh, it'll won't eat us, and then it'll eat them. You know? Um, oh, I don't know. I kind of just want to tell her to shove it. I'm, like, torn. I'm trying to think of what my character would do. She's not necessarily... I mean, I think she's still a pretty upright paladin-type sort, but she is perhaps a bit more flexible, a bit more jaded... A little bit after becoming an oathbreaker, um, but I now that I think about, it, I don't know if she would actually, you know, give an owl bear over to a society because she was a nature paladin. I know that sounds so like oh tight, blah blah blah, but I'm trying because because I'm torn. I'm trying to role play a bit on what my character would do. I don't think she would necessarily hand off an owlbear egg. But listen, I've been carrying this owlbear egg for like 70 hours. 
And now I'm like, ooh, look what I can do. Like, I already have an owlbear baby. I'm like, eee. And if I do do this, I really, I want to try to convince her that it's a githyanki egg. I don't want to do it. Oh. Oh, let's just, let's try. The curves, the coloration, the size looks right to me. 21? I'm doomed. Oh! oh! <laughs> it was meant to be! It was meant to be! I have to go through with this. How excellent. <laughs> Here is I just hope as promised, Lizelle doesn't think I'm actually doing it. Reward. I hope she doesn't think I'm actually You've doing it. You've proven an exceptionally efficient friend today. I hope we can work together again. <laughs> <laughs> we tricked Lady Esther into taking an owlbear egg. She thanked us and rewarded us. All right. Let's just start. I'm just hoping Lazelle doesn't think that I actually gave her a Gith Yankee egg. I would think Lazelle would know the difference and know what I was doing. The crush must be nested in that temple. Our cure is close. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, but, uh. Can I still. What's up for discussion? Like, I would like to sell things to you. Thank you so much. Do be sure to pull oh. the lodge should you ever visit Baldur's I'm going to be in so much trouble when I this all comes to so. light. When adventure calls, I am always thoroughly prepared. Always. Take a look. Uh, th that is going to blow up in my face spectacularly, you guys. I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. Interesting. This is a, clo a cloth armor. I wasn't even looking at it. I was going to buy some health potions. But this was a monk armor. This weapon's called Hoppy. It has a small rabbit carved into the handle. Not the most elegant of weapons, but the war pick's cumbersome weight certainly allows it to be deadly in combat. I would like to build a war pick at some point. I think that would be nice. I'm tempted to buy this. I might just be wasting money, but. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to interact with this woman much in the future, and I don't want to, you know... A long way to go still. I don't want to miss out on anything she has that I want, you know? Alright, I have 100% just shot myself in the foot for when I get to Baldur's Gate and they... <laughs> but, like, uh, I'm like, oh, of course I don't want him to have a gift you know, child. Like, that's weird. That's weird. I don't like that. Um, like, to be stealing people's kids. I don't think they're growing up in a healthy environment by any means. Uh, I don't think it's a good thing to do, but, like, I also don't think it's a good idea to steal children. Um, but also, I shouldn't have given her an owlbear baby. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm a monster. Um. I do. Let's go, in. This view is almost worth the walk. Ah, I was curious if anybody was going to say anything about the view. It really is nice. Oh, and this is Leth a Lethandir monastery, or it was before it got absolutely wrecked. Cable car wheel. I could pull that up. I want to go see. Oh, thanks. I keep being able to pick up arrows. It's not, like I, it's not like I need arrows. So I'm kind of curious why I can pick them up. Like, arrows are just a thing that you have, which is nice. Trying to keep track of your arrows would be the worst. Well, you get the fancy ones, right? Like, you got to keep track of your fancy ones, but... Well, it looks like we could walk down, potentially. We could explore. Jump across here. Or we could try to take this cable car, which I am going to do. That's not gonna work. Well, is it just? It's really freaking heavy. Oh my gosh! You've got to be kidding me. Next time's the time. Yeah, do it again. Might not be the time. Dang nabbit! Let's see if Carlite can do it. Okay. She does have a plus three strength. Ooh. 
Yes, my very strong girlfriend. Strunk. Must have been out of use for a long time. I'm like, I loosened it up for you. I loosened it up for you. And she's like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that ends. Not as bad as it could have. We did it. Very well. Let's go, everybody. Get on in. Get on in. Come on in. I come. You guys. I, you guys got to come in a little further. Eager for battle. Okay. Uh, I think I am so gonna call it here. Purpose. I'm not a hundred percent sure how long this episode's gonna be, but I don't want to just hop. It's been long enough that I don't want to hop into the crush um, without preamble or with with the with the very long preamble anyway it'd be a really long episode <laughs> so uh hopefully this works hopefully the cable car doesn't break uh, anyway my strongest uh say thank you everybody to my strong girlfriend who gets us uh, where we need to be so thank you all for watching i appreciate it and really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my acorn tier patrons thank you so much fame for your support i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra special shout out to reese galito my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support i very much appreciate it as well and i want to give an extra extra special shout out to christopher my forest tier patron thank you so much for your support you've gone above and beyond in your support of me in the channel and i really cannot thank you enough so thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one